Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. This time I'm going to talk about the Power of the Force A-Wing. I freaked when I saw this at Book Off because they sold it for only 20 bucks. And considering the price of vehicles these days, the newer vehicles are like 50, 60 dollars and they're basically made the same way. I was shocked that Book Off just is just charging 20 bucks. And it comes with a figure, so bonus! This is what it shows on the back. And it says dual laser cannons pivot 360 degrees for complete space battle coverage. And it has an exclusive A-Wing fighter pilot stands ready to battle Imperial forces. And a little bit more information about the A-Wing. It says the model is Alliance A-Wing fighter. Type is Interceptor and Multi-Purpose Starfighter. Length, 9.6 meters. Affiliation, Rebel Alliance. Crew, one pilot. Weapons, modified 360 degrees pivoting laser cannons. Then you have onboard control, raises and lowers pilot's protective canopy. And tripod landing gear extends and ex retracts with activation switch. Which sounds a lot like what the original A-Wing does. Let's, Let's open, it. open it. Something gonna fall out? Oh, oh, stuff falling out. Okay, nothing else in the box. This one's falling out. Comes with a booklet with with other Kenner products. Not as cool as back in the day when Kenner would have a booklet, but in the booklet it only had Star Wars. This has all the other Kenner stuff that I really don't care about. Superman. Oh, here's Star Wars. Here's some Star Wars. Star Wars, Power of the Force. Uh, and more. The instruction sheet for what? Oh, it has stickers. Where are the stickers? Here are the stickers. And here is the figure. All right, check out the A-Wing pilot. Kind of buff, kind of what they did back in the 90s. Now the A-Wing. Look how easy that was to come out. All in one piece. They don't seem to do that anymore. Look how amazing that is. And it looks exactly like the one from the 80s. It even has the original can uh the original canopy. The original huh? the original battery compartment. Is it easy to open? The area right here is nice and clear. Here's the lever for the canopy. All right. Oops, nicely, and here's the landing gear. How does it work? In and back, in and back, in and back. It's not working. Because the landing gear doesn't want to come out. Oh, that's really tough. Maybe it's his years of of being stuck that way, but I got it out. Let's see if I can get it go back in. Oh, this one's stuck. I had to do it this way. I had to do it with with my hands. Hold my hands. Opening it. Ugh, 
just like this to get the canopy out. There we go. The landing gear, to get the landing gear out. And here are the side guns that are supposed to pivot and is not doing it. What is up with that? That is so weird. It just doesn't want to turn. Oh, okay. According to the instructions, I have to pull out, pull them out, and then they'll rotate. Is that really necessary? Now let's get a closer look and let's compare this to the vintage A-Wing. And let's put some stickers on it. Here is the vintage A-Wing pilot and here is the very muscular Power of the Force 2 A-Wing pilot. Their helmets are similar. Their chest design, their chest plate is very different. Lots of differences. The color green, this is a little more of an olive green here. The belt is, or the belt, the boots are different. Interesting how part of this is black and part of it is green. This is all black. Although you can see the design of the boot is the same. And also a big difference, muscles, yeah, look at that. You can lift them, bench press, lift. Ugh. Let's compare the A wings. Here is the Power of the Force A wing, and here is the original vintage A wing. Clearly, the exact same mold. The only difference, this is kind of yellowed and I'm not sure if it's the plastic that's yellowed over time or was it originally this color? I don't remember. And the sad thing is the canopy is kind of yellowed a bit, you can see, whereas this one is nice and clear. And same goes for the, the, in, the um, this back part, I don't know what that's called. But this is nice and clear, and this is yellowed plastic. Or is it the way it's supposed to look? I don't remember. Let's see, is the back exactly the same? Well, you can see there's a lot of paint detail to the to the Power of the Force version, whereas this is just just the plain one color, but exactly the same design. And this one already has paint. I don't have any stickers on mine. I seem to have not put the stickers on them and then lost the stickers. Oh well. But, and here it's plain. Whereas here they put, just look like they took spray paint and went shh, and that's it. Kind of lazy when you think about it. And they got all this other detail, paint detail on this new one but nothing on the vintage. And the side guns click, but they do not go in. Whereas, I give it to you for it, this comes out, but they don't click. What's up with that? Come on. Like, which is a better feature? The clicking noise? Or the ability to just have it come out like this and turn but no clicking. Top of that. And as I mentioned before, oh interesting. Here's the battery compartment for the vent the power of the force and here's the battery compartment for the vintage. And here's the button. But they just put they didn't even they didn't even bother to cover it. They just left it empty. That's pretty lazy. The battery compartment is pretty difficult to open. The battery cover is pretty difficult to open. Like you have to use some kind of screwdriver. I don't know why they have to make them that difficult to open. I want to see what's inside that. 
Here we go. Okay, this doesn't want to remove when it come off, but can you see inside? It's nothing. It could be a storage compartment. They can get this off, but they won't allow this to come off. Oh well. Let's see. This one. Okay. And it has the pieces for metal parts for the batteries. This does not work. And the met the motor's probably frozen after all these years. I just hadn't been able to get it to work. All right, let's look at getting the stickers on this thing. So stickers go inside this cockpit. And that's the other problem. This does not want to stay open. Ugh, look at that. This one stays open. Maybe I just got a defective one. They just won't stay open. Stickers, putting them on. Okay, the stickers are on right here and in the cockpit. Got this here, this control here, and the one on the side there. And one on the side there. While the power of the force A-Wing is pretty much the same as the Vintage, there are some issues with it. Like, it has a battery compartment, but there's no use for it. And then it has this empty button. It, these pull out, but, and then they spin, but they don't make sound. This one makes clicking noise. The landing gear is difficult to open, whereas this one's easy. The canopy is, will open on this, the Vintage, and stay open, but the canopy on this one, the, the Power of the Force, will not. So it's kind of annoying. But again, but it's not like I'll be playing with these. Now, time to display these. All right, this is where I have my original a-wing displayed with the pilot. Here's the power of the force to a-wing. Where am I going to put this? How am I going to display this? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to have to remove some things like this. This. I need to make space. I could let's see. Let's let's see. Let's move this. This is this is Dax. And this I have the A Wing from I The Force Awakens, I think. But I think if I just scooch it over a bit. not really going to fit. Let's put this A-wing over here like this. Let's, let's move the boosted X-wing for a bit. And Let's put this, let's put the vintage in the middle. Let's have it go like this. And then put this over like this. Power of the force over like that. How does that look? And then we'll put this up behind like that. Perfect. Now let's put the figures up. Here's Poe Dameron. I'm going to have him stand here. Here's Dax. I'm going to have him stand here. And the Power of the Force 2 A-Wing pilot. We can have him stand right here. The Vintage A-Wing pilot. We'll have him stand here. And this female A-Wing pilot from 
I believe it's the Force Awakens. We'll have her stand right here. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to put the A-Wing pilot coin. Hmm. I think I'll go ahead. You know what? I'm going to put this here like this. Put the A-Wing pilot over here next to his coin and put Dak right there. Well, let's put her right here. Can you see me? Let's put her right here. And then we'll put Dax back here. And there we go! Alright, here they are. Nicely displayed all together. My three A-Wings. There they are. They look great. Check that out. Hey, thanks for watching Star Wars Obsessed. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and click subscribe. Also, click on that bell icon to be alerted to new videos. You can also check out more of my collection at the Star Wars Obsessed blog.